Hey guys, thank you for checking out our YouTube video. My name's Sean Elders and this is Pinnacle Combat Arts. Like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell so you can be notified every time we get a new video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Hubud and Elbow Hubud. Let's get started. This is a add-on to all the stuff that we other stuff we do. There's a there's hundreds of these different ways to do hubud. I'm just gonna, I always kind of just want to show you about three different ones so you can add it into your repertoire, into your training. So you guys all know what regular hubud is, where we're just practicing passing the energy, okay? Then we have what they call, we engage with this. I grab, I do a, what they call C cup. If I do it from this angle, I do a C cup. Now he has a response he can do where he goes up underneath it and re, re responds with his seat own C cup, just like that, see, okay? And then when I go like this, I can go back into Hubud, where this is left-handed Hubud, yep, okay? And so we can engage, when, I, when I'm when i doing, instead of topping, I can C cup, and then he can do something from there. You see that? Okay, yep. And I, if I want to, I can I can grab his other elbow and throw it into the into the game, and then he does this side. See that? And so we're going like this, okay? And so what can happen is when he goes like this, then he can come in with that number one, and then we go into hubud. This is the left side, the left elbow, left side hubud, but it's all the same. So when I come like this, then we go here, we go into the position. Okay, and then what we can do is we can add in, when he's got me like this, I can also come over the top and feed this, and he's gonna have to respond to that quickly and then be able to do it, you see? So if I go here, he can come around circle and we could do the circle game, okay? Yep, he can come across, I can go underneath too. That's the other one. We go back into Hubud. I can go to this position, he circles, okay? I can go over the, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. I can go over the top and engage, re-engage, reapply, okay? Or I can go, and I can go back into the who but up high. Okay? So when I come here, he can come underneath and then engage it. See, I can come underneath. So we can go back and forth going underneath. See that? Yep, and I can go over the top and go over the top. See, I can go like this, I can recheck and then I can come on the other elbow and you can do it on this side. Yep. Yep, see this and I can come underneath, see that and re-grab. Underneath, re-grab, underneath, re-grab. I can come underneath. Oh, I did the opposite, see? Sometimes I can go like this, see that? Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the inside Ooh. Seiko. And then I slap, and then I go to this side. <laughs> you see? <laughs> and I go underneath. Yep. Yep. And then I can come here. Oop, I got you crossed up for a second. <laughs> and see, that? that's actually a technique and strategy. What we, we wanna do is we wanna tie them up and then doing a, a strike. But right now you're just learning the basics of this. Now, why do we do this? We do this because this is also incorporated inside the, in wrestling, and this is also incorporated in knife work. He C cups me to try to, try to cut at me. I'm able to engage it a lot quicker. See that? Okay. I'm able to engage it. See? Uh, he's here and he's cutting. He's gonna cut at me, boom. See that? And look, I just did with the knife work we did from the last video, okay? Mm -hmm. But the idea is that I'm able to engage this. See that? Now I'm here. And then he does he does the same thing. So do the same one. So he goes underneath, mm -hmm. go underneath with this hand, and grab my wrist, yep. And then and then pull, yep. And then he's got me. He's got in a good, good position here. Of course, I can do other things too. If he grabs, okay? I can go there and I can trap him up. Of course, you can't see it, but <laughs> but my whole whole thing is is that I'm trying to go here, 
to do this position, okay? But he's gonna go underneath, and then he has his own counter, okay? He does it to me, I come underneath like this, and then I have my own counter, see that? I could do it the other way. When he C-cups me, I can go like this, okay? Some people, they like to do it this way. This is what a lot of Filipino martial artists do. They, they don't use the thumb, see that? They go up like this, okay? In my opinion, I don't like it because it, it sets up the position where I can slap this and go right in for the kill. Same thing with the top. We can use, this one is better than the one that the other one, but I could still do it, see that? Okay, I can still slap up and engage, as long as I engage that, sorry. I slap, see how I slap this up, like this and slide in and I can cut, okay? Or if he does cup up, cup up, I can slap down, see that? Okay, those are different types of things that, so we like, I like to do just C cup. So C cup, he gives me the C cup, and so the only way to disengage this is to either do some of the ones I'm, or disengage, which gives that other person another time, enough time to engage, okay? That's very important. So I go here, I, I can cut over, I can go, when I go underneath, I can grab the wrist and set it up, okay? I can set it up on him. See, there's a C cup there, see that? He comes over, yep, and he does it, see? So we can also C cup with the knife hand. See, just by doing, I call this the side hand because it looks like a side, okay? But we have the left hand that we can seek up with. And for instance, if we go like this, okay, I can come into this position. Now, what I'm, I'm gonna do something with this hand, but if he, get, he goes underneath, yep, he can then engage this and try to keep this shoulder from coming and engaging him, okay? Does that make sense? If you pull, that keeps this hand from, from, from engaging as easy. See that? So that's what we want to do. <laughs> so this is the other way. By using the knife hand, I can also see cup with this side. You see that? And then he can come over the top and pass it, see cup, and then he re-engages. See that? So we go one, two, and then, yep. If I end up in this position and I have the knife, of course, I could be sticking that in him. So as soon as I go there, he's wanting to go over the top and get it out of there. You see that? And now he's at a better this better position. I can re-engage, I can apply position to the knife hand, okay? And then we're we are more in a draw position. Of course, I have a little bit more control because I have his wrist. Elbow, I come underneath and I engage. See that? And then he can come back and try to engage it. See this? So I can re-engage with that elbow. See that? <laughs> you can do it every time. Do it every time. Yep. So I can also come underneath and then I can engage on this side like this, okay? He does it to him, he can practice it now. So he's, he does the C cup, yep. Mm -hmm. And then I can try to go over the top and sometimes it, see that even stab me just doing that. And then he can go, yep. Or I can come in like this. See, I can circle. Yep, and he's cutting me, see? Every time he does that, he's cutting me. See that, okay? So that's the idea. The idea is that we're learning how to respond when we get into elbow control. Elbow control is part of the aspects of wrestling and hubud, okay? As I go to this position and he does something, yep. And so how do I deal with, if he does this position, for instance, and he's trying to stab me, the best thing I can do is drop my body weight down and engage it, re-engage it, just like that, see? So, he, he does it, does the technique like this, okay? The knife hand's not as dangerous, but I still can do different things to him. So I'm gonna go underneath, okay? And I'm gonna re-engage. When I reapply this, and it's the knife hand, he's gonna drop, yep, and then, and then he goes in and deals with it. That's hubud, because what he's doing is he's passing. So if he does this and I go down, I'm passing this, see that? Uh, that's palasut, but it's huba because we're tangling and untangling. Okay, huba. He got huba luba. The first, the full name of huba. He got huba luba is the key to understanding how to untangle from you getting tangled up when you're in a fight. Okay, so that's the aspects that I'm trying to teach today. Elbow. Yep, and come underneath. Go back. See this and. See, I can go like this. I can grab, pull, and go to this side too. See that? Okay, I can come underneath and re-engage. 
come over top, re-engage, come underneath, re-engage, come over top, engage, circle, engage. I can sometimes circle inside and that what that does, that C-cups the inside of the bicep, which is another control position, but we're gonna go on the outside. We're gonna practice that one. Okay, go on to the outside. So over the top, underneath, and then re-engage the hoobud. <laughs> Always put them in a bad, because I want to put them in a bad position. That's the whole idea of, of everything that we do. We want to learn how to tangle them up, put them in bad positions where they're wrapped up and tied up so that you could open, it opens up a line for attack. Okay, hope you guys liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Go to our website, pinnaclecombatarts.com. There you can find out more about what I do and the classes that I provide. Thank you guys so much for your support and have a great day.